That's a nice sleigh. You like it? I like this one, yes. Well, guess what? It's owned. It is owned. This is my new machine. Check it out. We finally have a turbocharged sled in the fleet again. I'm nice. I'm wearing boots today. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the last patch of snow left in Alberta is right here. There ain't none left. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are surprised to see me on Alpha again. Especially after what happened the last one. Yeah. 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 But this is one of my customer sleds. I'd been working on it for, you know, the last year. I knew the condition of it. And for the price, I couldn't not buy it. Because uh, I had planned on snow checking a new Alpha anyway. But this one... It two years ago, this was a 30k build, and I did not spend near that on it. Well, why don't you take us through a tour? Let's take Show us what this is about. My dad's operating the camera. Today. I'm operating, and those are my big fat fingers that just went in front of the lens. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so it came with all the original parts, first of all, and I'll get to what all those are. But uh, it's had the tunnel cut done. It needs a little work back here. I have the tail light for it, it, it got blowed off or something like that. But 154 tunnel uh, with brace, TKI big wheel kit, uh, came with the bag, came with this, because I have to run av gas in this, and I'll show you why in a second. Oh, you do have to rav yeah, run the is, av this gas. This is aviation quality right here. No kidding. Uh, I like I like these back wheels. They're cool, eh? Yeah, I like are, that. If you wanted to order those, you'd be looking at probably, I don't know, a little over 300 Canadian just for those two rear wheels. Um, and that's not the only piece of TKI hardware on here anyway, because I think this is TKI's brake uh, reservoir and handle kit for those brakes that, because uh, the brake handles like to break off on these, so that's been upgraded. Monster finger throttle, it's my first one ever. Ben's had, had it on his, he loves it. Uh, I need to get the guard for it because um, it was pretty, pretty exposed for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, a couple billet accessories, uh, cheetah bars, cheetah riser, uh, cheetah, or no, there's a cobra pull cord handle, billet um, fuel cap. Uh, I don't know whose front bumper that is on there. I think it says somewhere, but new, pretty new front bumper, RC Pro front bumper, vent kits, and over here is the creme de la creme. Before we talk about that, that also has the TKI belt drive kit in it, but this is the uh, the reason this sled is owned now. That is a silver turbo. So we finally have a turbo in the fleet again. One that works? Well, it seem, seems to be out. working pretty good, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's. I did a little bit of reading. Silver's turbo kit is all set and forget. So it's actually a, a decent kit. So there's no fuel controller. Uh, it's remapped in the ECU, so you don't got to worry about anything on it. I think it's running at around a little less than 200 horsepower. I have to verify that. I'm not exactly sure what wastegate spring is in there, so I have to check that still. Uh, and then of all the, of course, the clutching that goes with it. And by the time you leave the dealer, you're looking at almost a 30k build. Which I did not pay anywhere close to. She's a nice sleigh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. The only thing that sucks is it's spring. <laughs> so, yeah, I got, I, it's going to get out here in Revelstoke. We actually have a lot of trips planned still, uh, but it's going to get out. 
and I'm not done with Whitey yet either because that's probably going to be the spring machine more than this one because this is more of a that's deep snow. That's a deep snow sled. That's a deep snow one. The turbo in that spring riding is not necessary. <laughs> no. So. Well, I think my old Fatso Nitro would do good in the spring. Oh, yeah. That'd be the perfect machine. That, that's when I need to yeah, go. There, yeah. You guys do way too much shoveling. I don't care for shoveling anymore. <laughs> There's a lot of that. Well, you know what? You just started, you got to learn how to use the throttle. Yeah. You don't have to shovel as often. It's nice. <laughs> I also have for the back already parts here on order for it because I broke the last rail uh, or bent it. We have a full rail brace coming from it from uh, altitude as well as this scissor piece here, which I guess tends to break on a lot of guys. So we have an upgraded one of those coming and then we have the, uh, the full mount coming already uh, for this thing. So it's getting beefed up right away before we go through another alpha rail. Yes. Preferably. Well, you did it on the first trip last time, the last machine, wasn't it? Uh, the first year. First year, <laughs> the yeah. First year. <laughs> yeah, it was done. Um, but I wasn't partial to going any brand. I had every brand in mind when I was looking to buy a sled this year. I would have got a Skidoo, I would have got a Polaris, but I just kept, I kept getting drawn back to Cat. And it's because, I, I, here's what I've been thinking about. Here's, here's what I think. Sean's sled has been in the shop for a motor, a clutch, it's in there again for something else. Three shocks and a couple other, I think, miscellaneous items. Yeah. Ben Sled is bought the same year, has been back to the shop in the warranty department for nothing. So I think Katz just got it wrapped up for dependability, and that's why I went with them. But to make it interesting, we got one with the turbo. Yeah. <laughs> Problem free. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you guys are excited for this, and we're going to have some fun with it. So, thanks everybody for watching today's video. If you liked today's video and you want to see more of this stuff, uh, it's coming soon. I know we've been quiet lately, and uh, this is why. So, see everybody really soon in the next one.